Hello and welcome back to the Shin Megami Tensei HD Remaster Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we learned about the two opposing mannequins. But in today's episode, we need to make a way to the obelisk that Hijiri mentioned. And we need to do that via going via the secondary ent entrance here at the Assembly of Nilo. So, let's make our way. We're not going to be here for that long. I've kept the team as it was. Select floor, B15. And I believe once again we're going to have to use some of those light balls that we procured. So, let's use that item. Use light ball. Nicely done. Then we're going to have to head west here. There's some succubuses here, which is actually someone I wanted to recruit. Do I? Do I want a succubus? I think it might be good for the old fodder. And of course, Hellbiker just blocking absolutely everything. Maybe I'll get one. Maybe I will. We'll see. I mean, I've already had an incubus. And I should probably start looking at filling up my library as much as I can. Really. Making sure that I've got one of everything recruited for now. Uh, so let's head up here and head into this room. There is a cube and it should have a medicine for us, which is always handy. Head all of the way south. And then in here we should have another another good thing for us, a tetra tube. Uh, tetra Kaka. Oh, light was sniffed out by the darkness. That's fine. Let us use our... Does anyone have the light skill? No. That's fine. We can just use our items. There's a reason why I bought a whole bunch of these balls. Still got some incenses here as well, which is interesting. So, this is where the elevator door was. We're going to head east this time. Again, just some of these uh, incubuses. Nicely done. In we go. Should have a bead in there for us. We'll take all of the things that we can, to be honest. Every little helps. So we need to head south. So let's go this way. Head around south. Open this door. And then this should be just a really long linear hallway leading to an elevator. We'll do a hell spin. Why not? Put up the variety a little bit. Maragon. Annoyingly. Dis absorbs that. But with this and then with the rest of us, we can see Dis off fairly easily anyway. Dis was a prime player in my Persona 4 Gold Let's Play. Um, a prime, prime player. So let us. True crew floor. We're into the true core. Have I done the wrong place here? I believe I may have. Okay. What have I done? I need to head back <laughs> and head, maybe just keep on heading east from where I was. Attack, attack. Name of an awful, awful metalcore band. Maca Jam's not really going to do much to us anyway. One, two. I've got some decent levels now, which I'm very, very happy about. We're starting to get to our point where the power really tips in our favour. Um, is this the one where I need to go? No, where am I meant to be going? Oh, I mean... 
It's a trap. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to find this elevator hall and I'll see you guys in a sec. I decided to come out of the other side of the core. And maybe this is where I'm looking for. Yes, okay. This is where, where I'm going. The light has been snuffed out in the darkness. You know what, it's actually fine. We'll just keep walking. It's one, one route. Get to see the core tattoos. Though this is off a bit off putting, it must be said. Eventually we'll get there. Come on. Jesus Christ, this is long. Two, three. We're getting no encounters though. Here we go, to an elevator. Select floor. We'll obviously go to the first floor. We'll skip that. As we enter here, as we can now see, Moroccan Chini exit. This is the outside, but there's a terminal here that we're going to try and use to make sure we have a easy, easy way to get back, really. A yellow is blocked by a Dionysus. And then that should be easily fairly done by the others as well. Be a uniform. So let's use this terminal. So let's head out into the world. We will certainly leave the arena and see what we have to do. Chiodida. We've got here a cube with some life stones. Not always the best, but you know, I will always take it as much as possible now we're not going to go into the obelix right away because we need I want to get myself some stuff so we'll do a health spin here do a maragon as well Easy money. Three powers. Oh, a new enemy appeared. This guy we can just attack down between all four of us. It still doesn't give us as much. I need those Mothmans, really. But we're looking for this cube here. Yeah, cube in Kudan. We certainly will be opening this. And that gives us 10,000 Maka. Right. And then into the Obelix we must go. This is the true headquarters, the assembly. Hell spin them all. Marathon them all. I'm gonna see how they do against Mazanma. Okay, fine, and we can save a little bit more money with that as well. A bit more of our EP, but let's head our way into the obelisk. Oh god. I can't remember this part of the game in the slightest. So, welcome to the obelisk. This is the closest you can get all the Kokosushi in Tokyo. There we go. It is definitely undeniably powerful, but we've need to head to the northwest corner first. So not northwest, northeast. Get ourselves this cube of fun. We get ourselves a dismute. As we come up against some Arabakis, now that's not the worst thing in the world because we now know what they're weak to and that is all forms of magic but we should not be physical attacking them in the even a little bit but do we see them all three of them off there we do nicely done okay let's head towards that save point make sure we activate the terminal here just in case so we can come back we can also return to it if necessary 
What else have we got here? More of these guys. Okay. Mr. Hellbike is not the best suited for this, but... We're just going to use the Mazanmas. Take them both out fairly quickly. Let's open up this terminal. Oh, it's an S terminal. Okay. Okay, I'm going to save anyway. So we're back here. So let's go ahead and use the elevator. Let's speak to the soul here whilst we're at it. The maid is on the top floor. She's collecting Megatushi with her powers. So we're getting closer to us as our teacher. So, write it up. There's another pillar here. We've got to head, not this way, but west. As we come up against some Yuma Tengu, I'm not sure what these guys are weak against. But we should probably be fairly careful. Maragon does a decent amount of damage anyway, and it looks like we can just attack for the last one. This place is prime for... Uh, prime for... For taking some time. That's east. That's north. Right, where the fuck am I meant to go? I'm trying to figure that out. Where the fuck am I meant to go? We're gonna go this way. Nice. These guys, however, are weak to, um, I believe they're weak to electric, which is not something we really have on goal here, but force should do a lot there. Maragon should do a lot here as well. And then we can just do a... Fuck it, we'll just do a tornado. Let's get rid of him. The Elgor fled. Nice. 152. Not exactly what we wanted, but let's make our way up this elevator. Ooh, a Bahamut! Now, that is someone I do actually want to try and get gain for the party. We'll attack it now, but this is some prime recruitment to be happened here, I believe. Berserk, it's okay. We got a critical Shinada, it's not going to be the worst in the world. How unfortunate indeed to we take you out. We've already got an Elgar in, in our um, in our Compodium. I mean, Hellbird is going to work here. It is a weakness still. What do we do, Mizanma? We do another Mizanma. Nicely done. Hellbiker is actually going to be getting a level up soon, which is always good. Is there anything here? Oh, there's a mystic chest. I'm actually going to walk around for a little bit and wait until this is at full. Because I learned that this is actually what you need to do in order to get the best shit from it. Which is annoying. But there we go. You obtain a jade. Okay, I will take that. Uh, what I am going to do is use some of Horus's media. Just to give us a little bit of a top up. And I'll see you guys back around at the odd place. Right, so we're going to head this way. You sense a strong power. <laughs> Just as Lord Hikawa predicted... It seems a rat has wandered in. <laughs> I assume you are here for that woman, but we three sisters guard the obelisk. 
We are quite unlike that useless Osei. <laughs> if you want her back, you must, must defeat, defeat us. us. Of course. Well, if you can get to us in the first place. There is obviously going to be more puzzles. She repeats the process of birth and death. It will not wait for you. Okay. Now, come. Now come. Okay. <laughs> the three sisters, the guardians of the realm. It's very fucking annoying, to be honest. But we should be okay. We should be fine. I did go and get us some chakra pots, etc., etc., from the last time. But we need to make our way. Um. We should take this staircase up here. We'll fight some enemies along the way, and that's fine. Maybe this is my turn to get myself a Bahamut. I'm not sure exactly what these weak against. I would assume that they are um, not weak to uh, fire, would be my assumption. Evil Gaze, we dodged that, however. One. Okay, and then we're going to pass this along. Pass this along until we get to cash and have them talk. I'm of the vile blood, I can't become a member. Does that mean we have to. Um, we have to fuse one in order to get one? It's a little bit annoying. Just a little bit. Let's speak to the soul. The Moray sisters have set devices. You must control the flow of time. What does that mean? You will soon find out. We certainly will soon find out. Into the obelisk we go. That's once again. <laughs> we dodge that attack. Mikaja makes the magic attack to increase. We'll do a hell spin here, because why not? A Maragon to all. We'll see if... Okay, he is not... He's not anti that, actually, which is pretty good for us. Need to make sure these guys don't run out of uh, MP before I'm ready. Hellbiker is close to a level up though, which is always good. I must touch the guys here, but if you take much time to the crew will find believe you. Uh, marvelous device. The right. So we need to enter up here. As we come to our first weird puzzle, I forget exactly how this works. One, so I need to touch this at a certain moment of cat of the uh, it's based on the phases. Um, let's touch it. The atmosphere around you has changed. As we're on a new right now. Okay. Time has passed quickly. We're going to go back here. I'm very confused. Let me figure this out in my brain. Because is taking some hits. Rebufa is annoying, but none of us should be weak to it. Okay, Hell Biker will do a uh, Hell Burner. Okay, so we shouldn't do that to anyone, is what I'm learning there. We shouldn't use Mazan Force against these guys. But we block the fire, which is very good. We'll do another Hell Burner. <sighs> then we'll do a Maragon, because we know that that works. Okay, almost got level up there, and I desperately need to heal. Use some of these life stones. I'm also going to use one of these chocolate pots on each of these guys. So, let me get this right. Let me get this white. I'm 
We will touch this. So, I, can, I believe I can only... So, I've got to advance it by three. Okay. Move across. And that should then open it. So, I need to basically make whatever the ones... Um, whatever it, it, it requires me to do to make my way up. I need to basically collect... That was a pretty fun little game, actually. Uh, we'll do a hell burner here. And we're actually just going to hit our way through. Try and save some of that delicious chakra for another point. Right, as we get a level up as well, as we get hell exhaust, will we listen to the biker? We certainly will. See, even the track mirror, that is actually very useful for all parties involved, I believe. So we're going to grab ourselves whatever's in here. Gillo, so we definitely shouldn't be using uh, Baragon at this point because we know that Dis can see herself by that. So what we'll do is we'll just do a hell spin. We'll do a Mazanma. Just the one. Do one more Mazanma. And then, then lastly, bring these ones out with physical attacks. And the Elgor fled. Nice. These Mantra guys aren't, aren't as, as uh, headbound as they used to be, it appears. Not Mantra. Sorry, Nilo guys are not as I'm um, thinking. Two chocolate drops. Good. Very good little uh, ploy right there. So let's now head up to next elevator. Okay, so I'm going to head this way. Then hit this way, and I'm going to use the save terminal. So let's head more so around here. So eventually we'll come to a fork, and then we can go up and around to here. Grab what should just be some life stones. I mean, I'll never say no to some free stuff. So we need to go here, and then we now need to go one, two, this way, and grab this one. And it's obtained a sacred water. And then we're now going to go back here and continue going down. As we come up against a load of Bereths. Okay. I'm not forgotten what these guys are weak to. We're going to try with some fire first. Okay, fire they're strong against. They absorb fire. It's good to know. So we dodged that attack. So let's just do a health spin. Oh, we should have a look at Hell Exhaust, actually. Um, before we go any further. We'll do a Mazanma here. Let's do a Meteorama. We'll do a Heat Wave. It's not that. Not that I think. Bears are strong. I mean, they're not crazy, but we dodged that. What does Hell Exhaust do? Force damage and negates Kajira effects on all foes. That is a that is a broken skill, guys. That is a broken ass skill. That's fine. As we take out all three of the better now anyway. That is a ridiculously powerful skill. That's that's stupidly good. Anyway, <laughs> that's honestly it's so so good. Um so we're going to continue. As we get ourselves our next free thing in a, in a cube. Uh, for this one, we're just going to use Hellburner. Another Mazanma for good luck. And then one more to see it away. Nice. It's interesting that the Nielo uh, good guys are evidently, um, uh, evidently, um, 
what's the word? Uh, Monmouth were with the mantra, but the evolved form is with your your boy is with your boys in the assembly. It's uh, it's very perplexing. We come up against some succubuses. We're just going to use a hell spin. Annoyingly, they're still around. Is this going to be able to put any of us to sleep, though? Kind of doubt it. Okay, put Cash to sleep, but that's not the end of the world because we will, just with everyone, take them all out in one fell swoop as we do get another level up with Cash, which is good. I want his agility to go up, to be honest. We get no extra bonus, which is very, very sad. But we're getting back up here and back towards the elevator. One second, guys. So, we're going to head west now. And right, this is an elevator. And this should lead us to our bead that we need. We're just going to attack this one for now. Dionysus being asleep is not actually the worst thing in the world. Missing, however, is not great. Boom, boom, boom. 168. Shinada's almost at a level up as well. Let's get ourselves our bead. Obtained the bead. The head back around here. So. One second, guys. I'm not sure what's happening here. Right. Make our way back forward. Then we're following the path all the way east now. Another Bereth. You know what, we're just going to attack. Because there's only one. I'm willing to get into a battle with it. Especially with Hellfire. It's not really going to do that much damage to us anyway. As we take out that Bereth in a fairly quick swoop. 163. Nice, nice, nice. There's a uh, way down south here. Am I meant to be going down here? Yes, we're going to go this way. More arrow at Barker, so we're obviously going to have to use our hell burner. These things are annoying mainly because they just take away your... Uh, yeah, MP more than anything else to defeat them. Maybe that was always the intention. I don't know, but it is, it is very annoying. Okay, there's one. That's that set of ones down. I don't know if it's worth it for just the 200 MP, but there you go. So we're going to come here, and then we come to a, another branch. Um... I'm gonna go this way and head up here. As we're up against the Bareths again. We need the hell. No, 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 no. They absorb fire. I remembered. Shit. Okay. We dodged that attack, that's good. Hell spin, why not? Try and take out as many of these as possible. Uh, we'll use the Mazantma. We haven't got any ice breath here. Nah, that's annoying. Um, just a tornado then. And then we're just going to attack for the final couple of turns. If this hits the biker... It's blocked for Dionysus anyway. Right. Take that guy out. Use our healing stones. Right now. And then let's make our way up. 
So we should eventually find ourselves at a, another glowing square. So, we need to figure out which way we want to go in order to go anywhere. Um, so, we certainly will touch this. So which way do we go? We go to the three one first. Uh, time passed quickly. We go to three. Now which way do I want to go? Blah blah blah. The four. The two. And then the one. And then the two again. Is that right? Wait, am I doing this wrong? Am I doing this wrong? I believe I am. Right, so I'll see you guys in a sec when I'm back at the glowing sphere. Right, so you do what I did, but you just go up this way. And then there should be, in theory here, a mystical chest. So I'm going to walk around until I'm at full and see what I can find. So we're back here when it's on full. We obtained a great chakra, which is actually very... I'm guessing that's something that will allow us to heal or MP on all of the people. Full MP on all ones. That's pretty good. Goddamn good. We've just been auto-attacking our way through, just because I am trying to preserve as much mana as I can as possible. Even if I do have that... Um, do have that... That thing in me. But we need to go back to this way. So let's examine the glowing sphere. Sorry if you can hear my dog, guys. She's doing a big old snore here right now, which is obviously quite funny. Right, the atmosphere has changed around me, so now I need to manipulate time again. And I'm looking for to make this guy here. So my guess is I go for one. Time has passed. And we go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go up and then go down again. Okay, I got that wrong. I'll see you in a sec. So I definitely overcomplicated this one for myself. So I'm going to touch this here. Get us back here. The atmosphere around has changed. Yeah, I complicated it. I don't need to go to two at all. I just need to go one. Time has passed. Three. Go to a far four. And then get off. Nice down and ride our elevator out of here. So. Let's go. Did I write this? Did I write this? If I did, that was very quick. Uh, we're just going to attack random uh, attack here. Our kind of biggest moves here, but if this hits, like, yeah, you see, Mr. Hellbiker, it's not too much of an issue. Get the Hellbiker up. One, two, three. Bereth is annoying, but you know what? I'll deal with it. Most of our party can block it. And I've got Horus with a really nice little media in the back staff. So I can just, you know, heal up after every fight. It's not an issue. Who got, he'll go fled. Okay, that's fair enough. Did I write this? I can't remember if I wrote this. No, I didn't write it yet. Let's write it up. Right, so skill. Get a Horus on the healing. One, two. Nicely done. As we come up here. We find ourselves at four, five different platforms. And I'm going to say, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time where we take on these platforms. Peace.